Hi, good afternoon. This is Priyadeep and I'm the founder and CEO of Gyan Lab. And uh, we are the organization conducting the Kilometers Creativity Olympiad, the Elevon Challenge. And uh, this, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about, you know, how the world is, is changing dramatically in terms of work and how the future of work is going to be drastically different from what it is today. Now let's take the case of an you know, IT testing engineer who can probably you know, uh, test about a few million lines of code in the entire uh, lifetime of being an IT engineer. Or let's take the case of an accountant uh, who does the accounting work for about a thousand companies every year. Or a bank officer who processes uh, you know, close to about 100-150 loan applications every day. Now all of this work, and, and, and you take the IT testing engineer, you take the accountant, you take the bank officer, and you take all the work that they do in their lifetime of 35-40 years of work. Now with the help of machine learning, you know, an algorithm can do that in minutes, all of that work. And that's why all rule-based work is at risk. Now let's take the case of, you know, uh, a fashion designer who has to decide which kind of clothes to put out at the Milan Fashion Week or the copy editor and the designer who put together the front page Amazon ad or the uh, you know the, the, the uh, software developer who created an AI algorithm to evaluate uh, test papers uh, subjective test papers and and this 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 work cannot be done by a machine it, it's simple. So now, now, how are the two different categories of work that I told you about are different? Whereas in the first case, you know, the work is basically based on data and using data, you can evaluate whether, you know, what to do, what not to do, uh, you know, in whether to, it is in, 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 in the case of counting or processing bank loans. Uh, but and, and using this data, a, a machine learning algorithm can be trained and, and can be taught how to how to do this work. But in the case when, when the work is, is novel or unique or has components of adaptability into it, it's very hard for a machine to do that. And thus, in about a decade time, uh, decades time from now, when you know our kids who are in school today end up joining the workforce, uh, they are going to you know get into into a, a, a phase where more, uh, most rule based jobs are in fact going to go to machines. Now let's take the uh, you know the World Economic Forum's report on future of jobs uh, that came out about a year back. Now this said that 65% kids who are entering school today will you know have work that does not yet exist. And and uh, and IBM, Adobe, and other organizations such as PwC go on to say that you know creativity is going to be the single most important factor for uh, you know for for people or, or our kids at present to be successful when they are a part of the of the human capital so and this is precisely the reason why we have started the the creativity olympiad with an idea that uh, you know if if the kids are able to uh, if, are, are able to execute their creative thinking skills to the best of their abilities you know uh, come what may they are going to thrive in in the future of work where uh, where all, all rule-based jobs will be taken away by machines. Thank you.